Well, hello, folks, and welcome back to The Sims 4. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'm super tired, so let's see if I can completely ruin Hamilton's life somehow while making bad decisions. Cohen is here! I feel like I shouldn't have to introduce myself to him again. I know we met you, Cohen. It was a long time ago. If I'm not mistaken, he was um, Elsa's brother, and we left you the super fancy lighthouse. Gloomy, unflirty, and a philosopher. Let's go play with all good old Rye here. What are you whining about? Kind of limping like he's hurt. What, you saw a man with a strange hat on? Uh, she's afraid of something. <laughs> she's having Vietnam flashbacks with that icon. They're, they're in the trees, Hamilton. They're in the speakers, they're in the walls. Poor thing. You're not taking a bath. What you are going to do is write another book. I don't believe we've wrote one in a while since we moved here, at least. Uh, resume writing. I didn't realize I had two unfinished books. I don't think I'm going to be going to, be going to work with Hamilton anymore. We are inspired. Sims are inspired by the artsy vibe, but I think I'm going to be sending uh, Hamilton on his own to work so that he can boost the performance up so we can get promoted. I believe at 8, when we get promoted to captain, I think we get to choose? Uh, which way we go in our career? I believe that every career branches at some point and gives you two different options. Like if you go spy, you can become... Uh, a good spy, or you can become an evil mastermind. You can become Goldfinger, or you can become Austin Powers. One of the two. Hamilton's so sparkly. It's gotta be from his aura of indifference. Chat with Cohen. I mean... Huh. You know... Put that box there. This is something people always love to come and chat when you're on the computer. Where's the furniture at? I need a small little love seat for this room. The Wicker Whims love seat. No. The Grande Wickish Pizzazz. Can we get something comfortable in here? Without looking too posh, please. And it can't be a three seater. Straight arrow, high back, plush booth. The North Shine double. Comfort of three. Okay. Going to assume that there's enough room in here for people to still use everything, but there we go. You can sit down and distract Hamilton. Bornson has reached social level three. And Rye is hungry. Uh, I did get some advice from uh, Cyber Zombie to click on the automatic feeder here and you can refill them for $40. I, uh, for some reason did not know that that's how that worked. I assumed that these would automatically refill on their own and then fill the dog bowl on their own. Alas, it is not that simple and... You completely collapsed. Um, go sleep. She needs to get some rest and... Oh, that's right. Forgot she's pregnant. It's been a day or two since I last recorded. Oh, God. I don't know what we're going to do. Paige has reached mental level three. Down there, playing chess. 
You know who else would like to play chess? Oh, you're sleeping. Because no one in this house can keep a schedule. I got the scoop that some crazy party is happening at the bluffs right now. Nope. Tempting. Hamilton has finished a book. How close are you to finishing this other one? The Great Pickle Capers. Uh, Navia Ramesh. No. Borenson is sleeping. 7 o'clock at night. You've had enough of a nap, son. Spoiled milk. Disgusting. Okay, I think his homework is done. Your homework is done. Everybody is taken care of. I don't know how I feel about that. Normally, I've got a lot of people to bounce through, and I occasionally nudge them to take care of things. But with Mom and Dad being gone... The world has changed. It's more... It has slowed down. Okay. I should probably lock this bedroom door for everyone but Hamilton and Elsa. Or maybe just give her her own bathroom in there. What's up, Rye? Are you gonna help him write? Are you telling him things to add into the story? From a dog's perspective? The great pickle caper. Rye, you always were the best dog. I hear there's a great party going down at the nightclub. I'm not going. Why do you guys always call me when Hamilton's in the middle of something? You are still sad? For three more days. You know what? Go repair that. Maybe you'll electrocute yourself to death. Some shock treatment therapy. Handiness level two. I didn't literally mean shock yourself to death, but whatever. Elsa, go take a bath. Stinking up the house. That's the dog's job. I honestly should have made Elsa. Should have made Elsa a mage somehow. You're gonna take a shower. And then you can sleep. Leaving stink lines in the bed. Laurel, after getting shocked, said, Screw it, I'm going to go dance. It's more important. Submit book copy to the Literary Digest. I feel like it's been longer than a week, and I still have not been able to send another one out. We're just going to send our biography off instead of putting it in the Digest. Maybe we can write another biography. One about mom or dad, perhaps. Let's get their ghosts out and about. Spooky. What's going on, Dad? The dog is here, too. Rosie has arrived. Oh, poor Rosie. We couldn't have... We, we sh it would have been wrong to leave Rosie behind at the vet to be forgotten. We now have a ghost guard dog. Feisty little thing. I wonder if your owner misses you or if they just ran off and left you to die there. 
you've been you can quit playing chess, you know. Now Paige, I do want to control most of the time. Once Hamilton dies and I continue playing off screen, she'll probably be my main character. What are you so angry about, Rai? So we'll get that taken care of, then she can sleep. Aww. I didn't know ghosts could mourn. I think Hamilton's family feels so guilty about Salim simply because Hamilton murdered the guy. If he had just died, they wouldn't have cared, but... I mean... Give her a residence key. I need... Some social from you. And Laurel's off to work. I don't think that she ever got level 7 mischief, no. She's still sad. You know what? Mope around. Maybe it'll help. Stinky old Laurel. We're just a stinky family, I guess. And we are still not maxed out on black magic. Might get there soon, though. Eating nuggets just like Dad. That was a weird sound. She's gonna be super depressed and lonely. Hamilton, go fix the microwave that your jinxed daughter broke. Did something else break? Hamilton can now craft dining tables and chairs. He might also find rare electronic parts. I didn't know they could possess cabinets. At least Dad's making the most of his afterlife. Laurel wants to impress the boss for a promotion. Uh, just go complete a side project. Everyone's impressed! But she took the initiative. Even she's impressed. Didn't you just possess that? No, it was Raymond Halt. I guess he's the other... I guess he's the resident ghost here. And I think that means he died from... Electrocution, maybe? It might just be an angry aura, but I don't know. Generally in The Sims, when somebody dies, they have something special. Uh, on their ghost, I guess you could say, it signifies how. It used to be the color that they were. Everyone get out of here. Yeah, you should all be embarrassed. Oh, and in fact, Paige, I told you to go to bed. Ask to, oh, the monster under the bed, of course. You're gonna have to go to school completely exhausted. Born send you too. Oh, you've got a monster as well. Good lord. If we start digging in the backyard, are we going to find an Indian, in, 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 an Indian burial ground? Hard to get that out for some reason. Don't yell at the butler. She's doing her best. Spooked out. Unwanted otherworldly... Activity is unnerving enough. <sighs> Maybe my kids will have to call in to school. Can I have them be... Here, Borns, and be brave. 
Talk to the monster. Maybe you can befriend it where your father failed. He was unsuccessful. It just wants to eat. We'll see if he can be put to bed. Nope. What are you doing? Are you aging up, Butter? No, you can't turn into an elder. I think you're spraying the wrong bed, Hamilton. Butter is now an elderly dog. Oh, wow. I'm gonna send him to school completely exhausted. Um, you're gonna have, I gotta take care of some of their needs before they go to school. Can you nap on that couch there? Since we can't apparently take care of these monsters. Hamilton, can you talk to the monster? I Hamilton cannot talk to the monster. Spray that one. Don't spray... That bed is going to be soaking wet. Lazy dog. Oh, man. I didn't realize I might actually have to take care of a ghost dog. Wait, come back, puppy. Come back, everyone. Nope. At 6 o'clock, the ghosts go home. Okay. Gonna have to wake her up for school. Elsa can show off the Jimmy leg dance move on the dance floor. She's also got a portable dance floor that she can take anywhere with her. I believe it's just a stack of cardboard. But I could be wrong. Wonderful. I should probably just sell all of the crappy... Uh... Are they, they're not appliances. I should sell all of this stuff and get better things. That don't break down as often, maybe offer more comfort, and could you stop being pregnant? Help fix bad relationship. I don't think you have a bad relationship with anyone important, Hamilton. Class in 40 minutes. Oh, you're going to get plenty of social interaction. And Borenson is probably going to be the stinky kid. Uh, I think I'm... Hamilton, I think we're going to send you to space. Work on your fame a little bit. I really wanted Elsa to be the first to go, but she... Well... All I can say is that she had to go and get herself knocked up. Goodbye, Hamilton. Godspeed. You got a snazzy spacesuit. A sim that is fine isn't feeling particularly good or bad. Don't litter, please. In the distance, Hamilton sees another ship blast its trash out the airlock. Now all that space debris is hurtling Hamilton's way. A rusty waffle iron strikes his craft and tears a hole in the fuselage. Hamilton is sucked out into deep space. He takes a moment to be thankful he put on his spacesuit today. Now what? Hmm. Do we try and grab onto the ship or do we radio for help? I say we try and grab onto the ship. Detective Hamilton isn't one to just let things... Slip past him. Witness to a bully. Some kids at school were being mean to one of my friends. I wanted to help, but I didn't know what to do. What do you think I should have done? Uh, you should have stepped in and punched that bully right in their dumb mouth, Paige. 
Manners decrease, but conflict resolution increases. If you don't stick up to him, stand up to him. How did you run into a bully when you're here? Yeah, well, Hamilton ain't going to work today. Apparently. Completely forgot about work. Back on board. While tumbling head over heels, Hamilton somehow manages to grab onto one of the ship's fins, and he gradually pulls himself back into the ship. He's not floating away into nothingness, which is good, but his ship still has a giant hole in the side, which is less good. What should he do? Repair it. You've got enough handiness skill, right? That's why I've had you repairing things your whole life. Elsa has reached parenting level 4. She can give timeouts. And everybody is either off to school or off to work. And I didn't ask to get to go to school with the kids, so... Uh, I guess I didn't install the elementary school correctly. Patched up perfectly. After dismantling his bunk for extra sheet metal, Hamilton patches the hole. The inside pressure stabilizes and it looks like the ship will make it back to Earth. Some of the debris could be valuable, at the very least. Hamilton can internet shame the litterbug who got him into this mess. He collects a scoopful and sets course for home. Well hell, maybe you will make it back in time for me to send you off to work. Everyone would either be at work or at school. And Rye has to shit right in front of the door. Of course he does. Of course he does. He's Rye. He does whatever the hell he wants. You know, no, we're not going to be back for a little bit. So what is our fame up to? Duty calls. Uh, send him alone. Laurel's back home. $344. She wants some coffee before she passes out. And uh, Hamilton's got rocket science level 4. He can build and upgrade faster. Oh my god, we owe $8,000 and have 48, 48 hours to pay. I didn't even think about how expensive rent would be here. Hmm. Gonna be honest, that's kind of a, kind of a buzzkill. Hamilton has safely returned from exploring the cosmos. Go to work, all on your own. Hopefully you don't get in trouble for being late. We get 4,000 a day from royalties. Miss work, Elsa is currently at work. Her boss may not think well of her skipping work. I don't know why her job is so bugged. Again, I've ran into a few quirks and weird things, and I don't know if it's because of scripts and mods that I've got that are kind of screwing things up, or... Or if that's just the way things are. Are you gonna do anything, or are you just gonna stand around? I hate watching you just sit there and daydream. Stinking up the place, not even drinking your coffee. Yeah, game. I don't want to read these. Feel free to close them up whenever. Okay, Hamilton, I don't know what you need for job performance. You probably need to socialize with your co-workers. Hey, Laurel. It's Cassandra. Cassandra... No. Laurel's actually going to work on her uh, mischievous skill. This is alternative? Apparently I don't know what genres are anymore. How about... Jazz is always good. Jazz or blues. Something peaceful and mellow. Boss's birthday. Hamilton wants to get his boss a birthday present, but can't leave work to buy it. How should he go about it? Uh, you're kind of crafty, right? Make a present. Hamilton tries to craft something with items on his desk, but grows flustered. 
His boss walks up, inquires, and is delighted by it. Hamilton is able to step away with a good feeling of effort. Eh. For all the good it did you, Hamilton has met Maki. Meeting tons of new people. It has been a while since I spent time in the station actually meeting people. I have to imagine most of the elders that we worked with are dead by now. <sighs> time moves on, doesn't it? Hamilton has met Gina. So many new people. This is everyone we know from work. Co-workers, there is a lot of them. Gina Linetti. Why are there two Gina Linettis? <laughs> what is going on? Two Terrys? We got Terry Lee and Terry Jeffords. I, I thought something w weird was going on when I saw Terry Lee. Laurel is burning to death. Get them inside or into cooler clothing soon, or face the wrath of the sun. Wait, what? They need to wear lighter clothing or head inside for shelter. Well, she is inside. Is our thermostat? Go change that, and then... I guess this is, like, the only... Well... Got this dresser. Change into your... That's your summer clothing? I don't think I've ever seen you wear that. What, it's your job to pick up the mess? Don't yell about it. Probably came about because of some... science experiment they were running in here. Maybe he doesn't, he doesn't know what to do with it. It's a complicated pile of debris. Hamilton has met Jasmine. How can you be burning to death? Critically low energy, overheating. I don't have a furnace going anywhere. Refreshing air conditioning. You know what, Laurel? Just go sleep. I don't even know if you can after having drank coffee, but... Maybe that'll stop you from burning to death? If she dies from overheating, uh... I'm definitely gonna have to reconsider the lot traits. Because <laughs> I, I don't know how, why else she would be burning to death. Okay. Still barely made any gain today. Borenson swiped an object while he was at school. And he's got a school project. Okay. You know, one thing I do want to actually look at for you here, Paige, is joining an after-school activity. Oh, good, and she's angry. Because I woke you up. Oh, you want to go for a walk? Well, shoot. So, she can join the drama club or be a scout. Join Drama Club. As a Drama Club member, you'll perform in local plays and eventually hone those fine acting skills. Crying on demand is useful in plays as well as getting out of things. Impress your classmates and parents with your ability to become virtually anyone. Just make sure you don't do anything embarrassing on stage because those memories will last a lifetime. Or in a YouTube video where people 10 years later still leave comments laughing at the dumb things you've done. Or we could be a scout again. Hmm. We already kind of tried scout, and while it was, was fun, 
and it would be neat for her to follow in Hamilton's footsteps. Maybe we could do more with this, since I didn't find out about it until far too late. I think we're going to have her join the drama club. Starts Tuesday at 3.30. Okay. I guess you can nap. Borenson wants to cry to dad. Just go take a bath. This is why I try to keep you guys on a, on a sleep schedule. Dad can only do so much, though. $160. <laughs> he, he, he said, fuck that pile of trash. That was interesting. Was that two piles of trash? Stuck on top of each other? Maybe that's why he couldn't do anything with it. You're going to pass out there, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> Can you... Nap there? You're done napping. Nap time's over with. I don't know how hard I want to press her on her school uh, homework and stuff either. As we saw with Hamilton and Laurel, it doesn't really seem to make much difference. She's embarrassed from an awful school day. Okay, um... Skill-wise, though... Creativity. We got the... I moved the play table out here. Go work on your creativity there. I, be I believe that this will raise creativity. The Humor and Hijinks Festival is in town. Elsa brought home $864. And you are also about ready to pass out from exhaustion. I may have to spend a little bit of time next video getting their schedules fixed. I can't have everybody going to work and school being completely worthless. But this video has gone on long enough. I think I'm going to end it here. I will see you guys next time.